Greetings, Zombie Slayers, Slippy Jim here with a quick and easy guide on how to upgrade your bow in the Black Ops 3 Zombies map, Derise and Draka, to the Wolf Bow, which is, according to the game, officially named the Kriholo Lu Elite. Anyway, what we're going to do here first up is get the starting bow, which is called the Wrath of the Ancients. And how you get this is you need to find the three dragon heads located around the map. This first one here is in the command center room. And what you need to do is you need to feed around seven or eight zombies to each of these three dragon heads. When they have had enough zombies, they will crumble and you can move on to the next one. So this is the second location here in the courtyard. Uh, the third location is down in the Undercroft area right near the pyramid. Now you also want to actually stand on these four uh, floor pressure pads uh, until they're locked in place as well for a step later in this. Once you have filled all three of the dragons, you can come up here to the crypt and swap out the weapon you're holding for the Wrath of the Ancients bow, which is a pretty cool bow that will definitely help you get through some of the steps to follow. So to actually pick up the quest to upgrade to the wolf bow, we actually need to engage in some art appreciation around the map. So there are four different paintings you need to locate and you need to interact with these paintings in a specific order to actually get the upgrade quest. Now while the actual locations are always the same every single game, the actual paintings depicted in the locations will change uh, each game. So you need to actually check which is which. So the first we need to interact with is the throne painting, the second is the knight on horseback painting, the third is the mountain painting, and the fourth is the dead knight painting. So that is the actual order you need to interact with these once you've located them. One of the painting locations is here in this round room which has a chandelier in it. So we're going to click on that because that's our throne painting that we need to find first. The second painting is uh, near the entrance to the command center here, the knight on horseback. Uh, once you interact with these, if you have uh, interacted with the, them in the correct order, you will hear a guitar strum sound and uh, they will light up with that wolf symbol. The third location here in the clock tower, that's our third painting, the mountain. And the fourth and final painting location is just past where you turn on the power switch and you need to go through this uh, entrance here and to the left of this is another painting location. Here is our fourth one in this case, the dead knight on horseback. So the next step is to come down here to the undercroft again to where the two wolf head uh, are depicted on the wall and that will automatically crumble and drop the broken arrow for you to bind the upgrade quest to your character. The next step is fairly easy. You need to come down to the rocket launch area and just above uh, the cliff here you will see a red flag and you need to shoot that with your bow. So once you've done that what will happen is a uh, kind of a ghost skull of the wolf will drop down off the cliff and you need to go and pick that up as we're going to do here in a second once we've trained up the zombies here so they don't take us out when we pick this thing up. Alright, so once you've picked up the Ghost Wolf Skull, what you need to do is you need to head back to the Pyramid in the Undercroft and there you'll see a box with the double wolf head symbol on it and two wolf skeletons on either side. You need to add the wolf skull to the skeleton on the right hand side and then you'll get this really cool Ghost Wolf spawn in. So what you need to do then is you need to follow the Ghost Wolf and uh, he will actually take you through the map you can follow his footprints, kind of has like a tracker effect to it and uh, he will take you to three different locations where he will stop each time and pour at the ground. Now when he does that, what you need to do is you need to kill a bunch of zombies in that location to fill the hole with souls. Around about 10 zombies, something like that, it's not too many, uh, but make sure you've got some decent weapons at this point. So once it has filled with sufficient uh, zombie souls, the wolf will pour at the ground and make a whining noise. Now when that happens, what you need to do is you need to interact with that dig pile and you'll actually pick up uh, his master's remains. So his master, uh, I guess he got 
cut in three pieces and then buried in different areas of the map. I don't know what happened there. But you need to pick up his bones in each of these locations once you've filled it with zombie souls. So this is the second location he takes us to. Now, by the way, if the if the uh, wolf gets away from you and you can't find him, because uh, there is sort of a time frame where you have to keep up with him, uh, there's nothing to worry about. All you need to do is head back to the Undercroft and click on the wolf skull again to respawn the, the ghost wolf so you can uh, come back and restart this particular part of the quest. Okay, the third and final location. So you do the same thing here. Fill that with the zombie souls. Once that one's done and you've picked up that, uh, that part of his master's remains, you actually need to put the remains in the crypt here in the Undercroft. So the wolf will actually go to the wall of the Undercroft and pour at the side of the wall, looking forlornly up at the crypt. So by this point, you should have stood on the four floor pressure plates located around the pyramid to enable the anti-gravity sessions. Once you get one of these, you want to wall run up to the crypt location and you need to shoot the double wolf head symbol with your arrow. It can be a little bit tricky, but once you've done it correctly, you'll get a ledge spawn out of the bottom of the crypt. And once you climb up on that, you can add the master's remains into the crypt to lay them to rest for the final time and he will actually hand you the reforged arrow. As with all the other bow upgrade quests, once you have the uh, the reforged arrow, you need to take it and place it in the appropriate box. In this case, obviously, the double wolf head box. And uh, once you do that, you need to fill it with a bunch of zombie souls by killing zombies in the vicinity of the box. So, I'm not sure exactly how many zombies it takes, but it feels like around 20 or 30 zombies. Uh, it does take quite a while. But once you've filled it with enough zombie souls, you'll hear this audio cue right here. And that means you can actually click on that with your Wrath of the Ancients, the regular bow. And that will actually take your bow and it will emit a pretty cool looking beam of light as it reforges and upgrades your bow for you. And then you can go over and collect your upgraded wolf bow. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys a bit of footage with this bow. It has a regular attack which will usually insta-kill the zombies that it directly hits as well as slow the zombies in the vicinity with that uh, really cool looking uh, slowing effect. The charged bow effect uh, has kind of a knockback effect similar to the, the Thunder Wall uh, Pack-a-Punch upgrade. Uh, it blasts all the zombies back that it hits, it kills a bunch of them and it can also create a bunch of crawlers which is not so great. Uh, it has a cool visual effect as well in that it turns the zombies into ghosts or spirits as they fly off and uh, get killed by it. But as I said, it's not the most powerful bow, especially compared to something like the lightning bow. I also don't like the effect that it has with creating crawlers even in the lower rounds, and it doesn't really give you much crowd control either. So. Uh, it's a cool looking bow, but probably not one of the better ones. Anyway, if you enjoyed this upgrade tutorial, please remember to rate and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Slippage him out.